Hi Aquarius, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. This is going to be your December 2021 tarot reading. Um, sorry, I'm late. It is, you know, December, Christmas time. But I am throwing you guys a Christmas party December 23rd. 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The cost is $30. That is going to give you a six-card reading, which is usually $45 if you'd like to look at my website. Everything is listed below. Um, if you can't get to the community page, that's why I'm saying it, you know, because I know from a lot of, it's only from your phone. You know, but, um, yeah, $30 and, t you know, tell me your astrological sign in, in PayPal, your question, short and sweet, if it has to do with someone else, their astrological sign, it'll be great. We're going to have a lot of fun. I do, on, I do it on Facebook for the past four years. This, this year is like, you know. It's going to be YouTube. Absolutely. Because I'm giving back my appreciation. I feel. Okay. Aquarius. I'm using Crystal Visions. Sorry. Well. Well, no. Okay. Aquarius. December Two Pentacles. I'm so sorry. I should have realized this before I started the video, but I didn't. Okay. Ooh, King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. <laughs> the Devil. King of Pentacles. The Chariot, Son of Cancer. Wow, the Two of Cups. Judgment. Nine of Wands. And Eight of Pentacles. And yes, I'm going to move these cards up. Sorry. Okay. At the bottom 
have on the deck. Ten of Pentacles. Marriage, commitment, stability. A lot of stability. King of Cups, some of you could be dealing with a water sign. You know, if you're a man, this could be you if you have water in your chart. It could also be a very emotional place. Especially with what's on side of him. Two of Pentacles is instability. This could be a relationship that's off and on, you know. Like someone that keeps just going back and forth, changing their mind. Trying to make a decision. The devil. I mean, the definitely could be some negativity around your relationship, marriage. The sign of Capricorn. Some of you are being like the, thinking that this person is never going to come back to you. Like your overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles. And this is commitment, stability, marriage. You know, some of you could be in an emotional place if you're not dealing with a water sign. Just wondering, you know, where is this relationship? Where is it leading? I do feel like with the devil, if you don't feel like you're in an... If you're... If you don't feel like you're in an unhealthy relationship, I mean, it definitely could be a very passionate, romantic relationship. But, you know, I'm sure you're thinking, you know, is this person ever going to commit to you? Are you guys ever going to be exclusive? That's what I'm getting from these those three cards. King of Pentacles, definitely some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you, this could be a third party situation, especially you females, where you're emotionally connected to both these people. Two Cups, Soulmate card. Some of you might have found this with two people, a water sign and an earth sign. And for some of you, that would explain the Two of Pentacles. Juggling two people. Whether it's you or the other person, twos in this reading it's, it's definitely a decision. It's definitely needed. If you're involved with a water sign or an earth sign, a third party, I mean, the chariot, I do see victory for you. Like, you're winning because you've been very persistent. You've been driven and determined. You know, the Two of Cups is absolutely could be your soulmate. A soulmate relationship here. And for those of you that are single, you could be connecting to a water sign or an earth sign. One of these people could be your partner or an ex. Could also be coming back. Or someone new coming in, in for you. For some of you, you definitely could be interested in two people. Or if you're hoping to be the one that someone wants, I definitely see victory and success for you. Definitely. You know, here at the Chariot, I mean, and that's in the center of the reading. You definitely have a soulmate connection with someone. If you're dealing with an earth sign, there's definitely victory with reuniting here. And, I mean, judgment, fresh starts. 
new beginnings, second chances, a relationship that you thought was over and just done. Literally, like, rising up from the ashes. Eight of Pentacles. There's a lot of work around this. Probably needs to rebuild the relationship. That's because the Nine of Wands, you know, there's some fear here. Someone could be pushing you away, very protected, on guard. Could be you or the person that you're dealing with. There's definitely a new beginning here for those of you that want to reconnect with an ex. If you're wondering if you're going to be able to save the relationship, there's definitely a new beginning here. Eight of Pentacles, you just might need to be a little bit more work that's needed. I'm going to grab you a couple more cards from the Gilded. right out. And the Ten of Wands. Okay, this is what I was saying before. You know, with the devil, you definitely could be definitely becoming very, like, pessimistic about a relationship. Someone may be seeing someone else. You might not have a full commitment from this person. Well, you're not sure. You know, if they're going to choose you. You don't know if they're going to come back. And I do see that same energy with the Ten of Wands. You know, it's feeling just burnt out, totally exhausted, frustrated. Maybe feeling like giving up on the whole thing. Some of you might be dealing with that, especially with the Devil and the Ten of Wands. Some of you definitely could feel like just throwing in the towel and saying the hell with it. When it comes to a relationship. Like you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting for this person. You're tired of waiting for a decision from this person. And the Nine of Pentacles. Do, the, do what's best for you. Aquarius. Your self-confidence. Making decisions that you feel good about. So if you're feeling like shit waiting around for someone or say taking someone back don't do it you have to do what's best for you and I do see a lot of emotional happiness here with the nine of cups wish fulfillment you getting exactly what you've been hoping for emotionally very very happy and I feel like this is a situation where you you just, you feel frustrated. You just feel like you can't do it anymore. You're tired of trying, especially if this relationship has a, not, a lot of negativity, a lot of ups and downs. There's... 
they're not giving you a decision. And I do strongly feel like, you know, you might feel like giving up. You know, with the Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups, I do feel like things could change. Things are going to go in your favor. And it's absolutely a soulmate connection. Definitely. And I'm thinking, I think you're getting there. Or, you know, you could be dealing with, you know, one of these men that have, you know, fire in their chart and they're carrying around burdens and they're ready to get rid of their bullshit to be with you. But I do see it. I definitely do see an emotional soulmate connection. Okay, Aquarius. Absolutely love you guys. And I'm, I will see you December 23rd. I hope 22nd. Oh my gosh. 22nd. Um, for the Christmas party. Um, if not, I am going to see you live before the Christmas party. I love you guys. Bye.